Action charm. Sleep, please. Infinite Painter is a feature-rich app designed for artists of all levels. We focus on maximizing both function and form to bring powerful tools and realistic brushes in a well-designed interface. Infinite Painter was just announced as Google Play's best app for large screens for 2024. I'm just really happy that people are enjoying using the app. If you are considering developing for large formats, the market's there. Our current install base is about 60% of different large screen devices. I would encourage you to not try to add more because there's more screen space, but keep it clean, keep it focused. There was some tablets that were experiencing latency between 60 and 90 milliseconds. We were able to bring that down by five times from 60 to 90 milliseconds on some devices down to 10 to 15 milliseconds, which is just phenomenal. We worked closely with the Android and Chromebook team to bring in uh, low latency into the application using two libraries. We use the Graphics Core library from Jetpack and also the Input Motion Prediction library and a high-speed camera to test out latency. There's such a natural analogy with styluses and tablets and pen and paper. So we support both tilt and pressure to create authentic, realistic feeling brushes. But we also support mouse and hover to get a better user experience. But we had a pretty exciting update at the beginning of the year. So we brought in low latency support. We also streamlined project creation workflow. And one other thing we brought in was called challenges. And these are designed to kind of exercise your creativity by restricting the app in some way. After the update, our daily active users increased by 15%, and the feedback around the update has been just awesome. Android is vast. It has all sorts of device formats. We wanted to make our app as adaptive as possible. No matter what device you're on, whether it's Chromebooks, tablets, we wanted the experience to be the best, so we improved the layouts for all those different form factors. Whenever we're developing for different formats, if there's one that we didn't have in hand, then we would use emulators to try to support that format. For us, that's just been a better experience overall.